Einen wunderschönen, da bin ich mal wieder, euer Odin mit einem neuen angezockt. Diesmal wollen wir uns The Council angucken. Ist schon ein bisschen was älter, die gibt schon ein paar Monate. Aber trotzdem, mal reinkicken, wie es ist. Ähm, ich spiele es in 4K, HDR hat es nicht. Ich nehme es auch in 4K auf, deswegen keine Kamera. Und ich werde es auch wieder nicht rendern, nicht, dass er reines Gameplay habt. Mausi, was nur los? Ja, Mausi ist auch wieder kuscheln gekommen. Frankreich. Also Menü war schon mal Deutsch, Sprache auch Deutsch, äh, Text Deutsch. Jetzt hoffe ich, dass er vielleicht so ein deutsches Audio hat. Nein, leider nicht. Listen. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. Es gibt auch von The Council auch schon die Komplettversion. Die werde ich euch unten runter verlinken. Da sind alle DLCs drin. Soweit ich das gelesen habe. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational and open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Burchard! Von Burchard! Hmm? Listen, let's make a deal. <laughs> I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. I'm done. Hier. Please, be my guest, mother. Trophäe. Hm. Ah. 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 <lacht> you reacted perfectly. How do you feel, mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive. <lacht> So I can question him after we get back. Sehr gut, Mosi. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Come on, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borschert. Wer 
Wenn das jetzt noch komplett in Deutsch wäre, dann wäre der Knaller. Aber leider wieder nur deutschen Untertitel. Entertainment. Kenne ich gar nicht Big Bad Wolf Studios. Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Bob Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer. And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island, which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir, what brings you here? Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man. Because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. And only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Are you alright? Was das hat der Vision oder? It's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah. No one's going to find it. 
Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, Mother, no, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, sir. Don't. No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay. <laughs> You. Uh, Louis, are you right? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, Mother. Something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Wähle deine Klasse. Diplomat. Okkultist. Puh. Ich nehme mal Diplomat. Erstmal Überzeugung 4. Überzeugung ist ganz gut. Ja, warte mal, wir machen eh mal. Ne, wir machen alles erstmal auf Überzeugung. Well, I've devoted myself to the interests of France to the best of my abilities. A few years ago, I had a brush with some of your fellow countrymen. Counter-revolutionaries, I'd imagine. Exactly. They got away. Thanks to a little diversion I came up with to keep the sans culotte away. Believe me, they came close to adorning the walls of the catacombs of Paris. So that young French diplomat was you? The mercy you showed the agents of the Queen roused the admiration of the court. Few would have let them leave France alive. Duchess, 
I'm surprised that anyone still remembers. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Die Grafik sieht eigentlich ganz gut aus, finde ich. Nein, aber ich lüge, sieht besser an. Lüge ich sie jetzt an? Ich sag mal lieber die ja. Ich sag mal lieber nein, nein. Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must say you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Please stop torturing me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago in London. No. Sorry, I I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt, remember? No? I'm so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. Ah, das ist irgendwie wie bei Sherlock Holmes. Ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Emily, please excuse my insistence. You still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily. But you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much to place in the heart. I saw several of them, but... I couldn't really do anything. Wir gehen jetzt einfach mal zu ihm. Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet. Delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you, we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Yeah. Oh, who is Lord? I have an appointment with Lord Mortimer. Would you be so kind as to lead me to him? Unfortunately, sir, I cannot. I don't know exactly where my master is. But rest assured, sir, everyone is waiting for you at the manor. Sir Holm insists on welcoming you in person. Since your mother went missing, everyone has been concerned about finding her. Who is Sir Holm? Close friend of Lord Mortimer's. Please rest assured, sir, it won't take us long to find your revered mother. Indeed. We are searching the caves again because lights were seen at the wharf just last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. Huh? Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. Yeah, this is and as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to be a handkerchief. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir Auspacken wir natürlich nicht, weil es noch nicht Weihnachten. 
Ist ja erst in drei Tagen soweit. Also ihr seht das Video dann halt praktisch nach Weihnachten, logischerweise. Nicht, dass euch da wundert. Also heute ist der 22.12., an dem ich das aufnehme. Und 4K-Material frisst ordentlich Speicher. That handkerchief belongs to me. Please hand it over now. But uh, I I'll speak directly to Master about it. It will be a very long conversation. Of course, sir. Please take it. On that note, I must leave you, sir. There is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. Ach so, ja, 4K, 4K Game Play Material ist ordentlich Speicherintensiv. Deswegen wollte ich hier auch nur so etwa eine halbe Stunde aufnehmen, die wir gleich erreicht haben. So, R2. I'm leaving without finding out about mother. Latin inscription. And Mrs. Weil da bin ich bei einer halben Stunde locker mal bei 30, 40 Gigabyte. Und das dauert eine Weile, bis ich das hochgeladen habe. You don't know, my son, how little wisdom the world is governed with. I tend to agree. Ah, jetzt haben wir den Diener. <lacht> Entschuldigung. Suche nach Hinweisen über deine Mutter. Okay. Ich will euch auch nicht zu viel spoilern, deswegen will ich auch nicht so weit spielen. Sonst geht der Spaß ja auch weg, wenn... Ah, ja. Wenn ihr wisst, wie ich das gelöst habe oder nicht gelöst habe. Probably comes from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. Mit den Rätseln und so, das ist schon echt cool. Aber wie gesagt, es ist echt wirklich sehr schade, dass das in Englisch ist. Achso, mit öffnen tut das auch nicht öffnen. Schloss knacken. Schwierigkeit 3, Heimlichkeit noch nicht erlangt. Ah, also wenn ich Heimlichkeit erlangt habe... Dann kann ich das Schloss knacken. Also Heimlichkeitsstufe 3 brauche ich, so wie das aussieht. Also jetzt noch nicht. Hier haben wir nur das eine gehabt. Hier ist noch was. Warte. Nee, guck mal, das war das. Ne, das war doch das, was wir uns angeguckt haben, oder? Ja. Dann war das hier vorne. Das habe ich nicht. Something not right about this floorboard. It's different from the rest. Somebody replaced it recently. It looks like it's fixed pretty solidly in place. It's going to be tough to rip it out of here. That's a horse that's under what's under it, but. Ah shit! Ah, it's not coming up. I'll never manage it barehanded. I need something to lever it with. Entweder brauche ich Gegenstand oder ich bin noch nicht kräftig genug. Ah, 
might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Great, honey. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. It's like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken very Diesen Stange, oh, wenn ich die jetzt mitnehmen könnte, könnte ich vielleicht die Planke rausbrechen. Is blackened. Without a nails to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. This might just come in handy. A sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Some rope. Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. See what's hidden inside. Let's look. It's too badly written, I, I can't make out the address. written in an oriental language. This letter's in Japanese. It's, it's addressed to a certain case Shotaro in Tokyo. The address is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me, it's about time the order sent some envoys there. Address is 50 Bedford Square, London. Hmm. A letter written in an oriental language. I have the slightest idea what it says. Hôtel de Cluny, Rue de Maturin, Paris. I guarantee this letter is for my mother. Address is a hideout for the Golden Order. If you write anyone over there, you have to watch out in case someone's reading your mail. But who is this Samuel Ritter Dochoa? Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richer. What is your game here, Mother? Secrets, always more secrets. You've never talked to anyone using language like this. Something's going on here. Who is this Samuel Ritter? And for crying out loud, who is this Manuel Godoy that you keep bringing up? Think, Godoy, Godoy, Manuel Godoy. Why does that name sound so familiar? Hmm. Ah, it's coming back to me. Godoy is the head of the Spanish government. He was appointed by King Charles IV, if I'm not mistaken. Rumor has it, He's very close to the queen. Too close. Much too close. But hey, that's none of my business. He has a reputation of being upright and proud, very attached to the aristocracy, and close to Louis XVI. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. 
A lantern. Nothing special. Let's see what's hidden inside. Let's look. An address in Cairo, Egypt. <coughs> Mortimer communicates with the whole world, apparently. Probably a Dutchman. So, we have all the briefs untersucht. Schmeiß doch die Stange nicht weg, vielleicht brauchen wir sie noch mal. Also bad. The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. For crying out loud, what's happened to you, Mother? Let's look inside the bag. A little food, a few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. Some fruit, a piece of bacon, and some bread. The fruit's still firm. The bread's a bit stale. From the smell, this food's been here roughly two days. And if it's rationed, there's enough left to last two more days. Those are definitely my mother's things. I recognize her hairpins. This bag smells of her perfume. A piece of soap, some oils, and her powder puff. But what does all this mean? An iron key completely rusted. You never know. It might be useful. I hope mother wasn't counting on it. The bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. Right. Just in case, I'll take it all. I'll give it back to Mother when I see her. Yeah, the obligatory grip nach hinten. For crying out loud. <laughs> Why did you hide supplies in the middle of nowhere, Mother? I don't know what's going on. I love such games, but... You feel like you're in danger. What can the people all take? Your mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Just like in my vision, and none of it's telling me anything useful. Is that the TV we've seen him? Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Aha, uh -huh. what have we here? Cannon powder. No, scheiße. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. So, let's go through this. My mother's been hiding pieces. A fragment of amber.
How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? Es sieht aber auch sehr komplex aus. Also nicht nur Rätsel lösen, sondern auch mit den zusätzlichen Fähigkeiten und den drei Fähigkeitsbäumen sozusagen, die man hat. Oder, naja, Okkultist, Detektiv und äh, andere. Diplomat. Sequenz lassen wir alle rufen, würde ich sagen. Ach, das war schon? Impressive. Nee. Ah, mein Sohn. Ich war für dich suchen. Was kann ich für dich tun, Eminence? Ich wollte dich fragen. Du bist der Sohn von Sade de Riche, nicht wahr? Du siehst, deine Mutter und ich waren hier auf diesem Ort getroffen. Ich war hier getroffen, ihr eine sehr wichtige Envelope zu geben. Aber ich habe sie nicht gesehen. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. Thank you, my son. I'll bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Ja, sie ist schon... Listen, trust me, sir, and give me the letter. I'll take care of everything. I appreciate your devotion, my son. But no, thank you. Being hasty really solves anything. By the way, Your Eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. If only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's, it's surely just an oversight. Most certainly. You said you work together. What do you do exactly? Mother passed her passion for art to me. Ancient art. Very ancient. Ah, I didn't know your mother was an art lover. Mainly pre-Christian objects which are believed to have unique properties. Well, how interesting. Now that you mention it, I can indeed imagine Sarah getting interested in that. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look. If it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me, and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Oh. Listen, you have nothing to fear. I will give your letter to my mother the moment I find her. The moment you find her? 
You mean Sarah has gone missing? Shit. I shouldn't have said that. Ah. Let's not exaggerate your imminence. Uh, I have no other information at this time. It's probably nothing. <laughs> Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will be The letter shanks, okay. I swear by the Almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Listen, let's stop there. I'm Good. going to tell you a secret, <laughs> Monsieur de Luce. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the Christian Republican Lord. Tribunal. Also nicht nur, man muss nicht nur Detektiv sein hier, man muss auch Hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the other diskutieren. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priests safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. A man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ich ready for the brief. Danke für den brief. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. Ja, ja. Zeit direkt. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Warte. Zwei Sachen noch, dann ist das da unten leer. Devil's Thorn. I'll keep it. Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is shown to be. It's the least nehmen. one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monsignor, His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simple. George Washington, President of the United the States of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple. Ach, Konzentration. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. <coughs> speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. 
As for me, I've been invited by Sir Holm, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer ich hab mal die Konzentrationspunkte nachher wird und noch auf uns zukommt. Which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine your doch lieber gewappnet sein. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richer, you've come out here to see the world. For what reason, exactly? Lord Mortimer asked me to drop everything and come find my mother, who seems to have disappeared during her stay. George Washington. Oh, der sieht aus wie, jo the first boat, wie George Washington. I am. I'm so sorry. Don't be, sir. It's not your fault. Seriously, though, I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Good Lord, Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the Order in the United States. Ach, das ist Washington oder was? Par with my mother, he must really know his stuff when it comes to the cult. Ich habe den Namen jetzt gar nicht von ihm gelesen, ist immer nur Lord. Good evening, my friend. Holy shit, that's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed our host, Lord oh, Mortimer. Aber... He can't be present this evening, and he says Ach, he's deep. <laughs> he's asked me here, and he hasn't even turned up. Aber ein dickes Washington, oder? And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow. You must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, I'll be able to speak about my mother, but on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw my vision. My vision is more important. Let's follow home. I'll follow you, sir. Mr. Washington, I hope to speak with you at greater length on another occasion. Emily, please excuse me, but I would like to speak to Sir Home. I shall see you later. I hope our dear Giovanni is well. Ah, the troubles in France are fatty. Okay, the list of six with names. So, one, two, three, five names still open. But he will recover slowly. Do not fear. He apologizes for remaining in Rome. The voyage was too much for him. And right he was too. The mildness of the Mediterranean. Come, sit down and have something to eat, my friend. Mr. Long. You look rather pale. Excuse me, sir. I have been neglecting my duty. I haven't introduced myself. Sir Gregory Ho, an old friend of Lord Mortimer's. A real pleasure, sir. You who must be well used to the court of France. How do you find this peaceful little haven? Charming, if I hadn't come here for disturbing reasons. Yes, I heard the news. What a storm. Indeed. I wanted to ask you. You seem to know my mother well. Is that true? <laughs> Who does not know of her, sir? She has such a wide circle that everyone knows your mother from a distance or closer. Everyone knows Sarah, my son. But you only know her by her reputation. I remember she once worked for the Crown of England, and that she always honours her engagement. However, we have never been personally introduced, sadly. Well, if 
I'm to believe my vision, you're not going to get along with her. Thank you for your answers, Sir Holm. But I beg your pardon. I get the impression I know you. Have we met? Except in my dreams, of course. Not that I remember, young man. Uh, perhaps you are mistaking me for another member of the Chamber of Lords. And what with the wig and the powder, it wouldn't be the first time. No, you were definitely the one I saw threatening my mother. I thought, never mind. It'll come back to me. Would you allow me one last question, sir? I don't want to take up all your time. Uh, please, go ahead. Uh, what do you want to know? Oh, do you know the reason for my mother's presence here? I haven't the slightest idea. No. She was invited by Lord Mortimer. But you don't know why? Well, not really. I was given to understand that your mother was looking for something. And do you know how long my mother and Lord Mortimer have known each other? Several years, I believe. They seemed to know each other for quite a while. But it was the first time that Lord Mortimer had invited her to join us here. Good. And finally, would it be possible for me to speak with Lord Mortimer this evening? I'm terribly sorry, no. He really is quite unavailable. But please rest assured that everyone is doing their best to find your mother. All the same, it's not the Chateau de Versailles. It can't be that difficult to find her. Worry not, my son. I am persuaded that we shall find the famous Sarah de Riche. No doubt with new adventures to share, huh? <laughs> no! My dear. Elizabeth! I should have insisted that you rest in your room. Do you want me to call someone? Let me handle this. I'm used to this kind of thing. Miss, can, can you hear me? Believe me. Stand back, please, so she can breathe. Elizabeth is accustomed to this kind of thing. It looks like it's just a dizzy spell. Can you tell me something about her? She needs a doctor. Why precisely is she here? Well, she's the daughter of one of Lord Mortimer's friends. He sent her here so she could be helped. Didn't know Lord Mortimer was a doctor. Uh, not in the sense you understand, but he has been practicing alternative medicine for a very long time. The poor child has already been treated by all the medical doctors her father could find, but no one has been able to cure her. Elizabeth is beyond the reach of traditional medicine, Monsieur de Richet. You all right, Elizabeth? Do you feel any better? When did she arrive? Four days ago. Okay. My mother had already gone missing. Das ist die Brosche von der Mutter, oder? You gave us quite a fright. Take it easy, then. Let me. I just need to get back to my room. Of course, my dear. Go ahead. You saw it, didn't you? Pardon me? He saved me the la bestia. Mission. Sorry, your eminence. I don't speak Italian. Ah, forget it. It doesn't matter. Ich hab keinen anderen Punkt Gentlemen, gesehen. It's getting late. It is time for everyone to go to bed. It's been a long day. Also einfach ist es auf jeden Fall nicht. It's all the more delicate. I'll see what I can do, but the case I'm on at the moment might well leave me with very few opportunities. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. 
Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal, but I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. So, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridor. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your room. same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am born tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? Gut, dann würde ich jetzt hier auch erstmal. So uns mal eine schöne Ecke aus. Ja, hier. Stehen ein paar Möbel, Baum. Ja, mal rum. Eine schöne Ecke finden. So. So, dann würde ich jetzt hier auch erstmal einen Cut machen. Es ist schon länger geworden, als ich eigentlich wollte. Ich wollte eine halbe Stunde machen. Ich bin jetzt bei einer Stunde. Oder fast einer Stunde. Die Rätsel sind teilweise nicht leicht. Werden auch noch schwerer. Hinweise finde ich schwer. Also man hat dann immer die Möglichkeit, ihn, ihn so ein Ding zu suchen. Aber eben habt ihr gesehen, ich habe nur einen Punkt. Ich gucke mal nachher noch an. Vielleicht habe ich doch den zweiten Punkt gar nicht gesehen. Aber so ins Auge strubbung ist mir halt nur jener. Dann hat man auch Konflikte, da muss man quatschen, muss man auch äh, ja, sich an die anderen Sachen erinnern können. Meine Gedächtnis ist nicht das Beste, also ich werde da oft verkacken. Aber so finde ich es echt cool. Das ist echt geil gemacht, wenn das jetzt wirklich noch in Deutsch wäre. Also ein deutsches Audio. Dann bräuchte man nicht lesen, dann könnte man da gemütlich zuhören und könnte noch tiefer ins Spiel eintauchen und noch ein bisschen mehr genießen. Ja, also das würde ich mir noch in Deutsch wünschen. Aber sonst finde ich es echt Cool gemacht. Ich liebe ja sowieso so eine Rätseldinger und äh, so Sherlock Holmes und so weiter, ich ja auch alle, die spielen. Ja, dann würde ich jetzt hier einen Cut machen. Ich hoffe, hat euch gefallen. Wenn es euch gefallen hat, lasst einen Daumen oben da. Achso, hab habt ihr gesehen, hier unten haben wir dann auch noch so Sachen, das war äh, die äh, Nachdenkspunkt, nach, äh, äh, Quatsch, wie heißen die Dinger? Konzentrationspunkte dass wir die noch nachfüllen können. Da müssen wir dann auch wirklich gut suchen, dass wir alle finden, damit wir dann halt die Konzentrationspunkte und Konflikte halt immer gut lösen können. Weil sonst, denke ich mal, wenn du keine, keine Punkte hast für Konzentration, siehst du einige Sachen nicht, denke ich mal, dass sie das dann so gemacht haben. Gut, aber jetzt, nichtsdestotrotz, müssen wir jetzt hier aufhören. Ich bin nämlich jetzt, ja, <lacht> noch 20 Sekunden und ich bin bei einer Stunde. Das wird wieder viel zum Hochladen. Ich verabschiede mich. Wenn es euch gefallen hat, wie gesagt, ein Däumchen wäre ein Träumchen, wenn ihr Fragen habt, in die Kommentare posten. Wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal. Bis dahin, haut da rein. Ahoi, sagt euer Odin. <lacht>